The Taiwan People's Party will gain power in local elections this year, claims former President Chen Shui-bian. He recently sat down for a tete-a-tete -tete with FTV Vice President Hu Wanling in a broad-ranging discussion of everything from his daily life to international affairs. The year-end local elections, also known as the 9-in-1 elections, were a hot topic. Chen revealed how his own experience running for Taipei mayor has colored his predictions for 2022. In the exclusive chat with FTV Vice President Hu Manling, former President Chen Shui-bian revealed his candid take on Taiwan's political climate. In the elections at the end of this year, do you think the Taiwan People's Party's power will expand or contract? Expand, of course. Mayor Ke has now basically said very clearly that he will run for president in 2024, hasn't he? Why is he so bent on campaigning for the mayors, county commissioners and councillors this year? He wants to reveal his intention to run for president. To run for president, he needs to be a mother hen with lots of little chicks. Beside the TPP, Chen also opined on CECC chief Chen Shizhong's suitability to run for Taipei mayor. Do you think Minister Chen Shizhong is the best candidate to represent the green camp in Taipei? Who should run is a big question. Currently, he runs the CECC, which is a privileged position. But as soon as you take off that halo and you lose that protected position and you become a candidate, then you're just like anybody else. People will dig up and probe into lots of your problems, including lots of controversial issues from during the pandemic. President Chen also addressed the outlook for green and blue later this year. Any big changes on the map will be in the north, he says. The DPP have seven cities and counties to retain. Jiayi, Tainan, Kaohsiung and Pingdong shouldn't be so very difficult, right? But the problems are up in the north. Taoyuan, Jilong and Shinju are all a bit more difficult. So the local campaigners are a very important factor. The human factor can be greater than the party's power. Chen also discussed the impact of tactical voting, which he says had a major impact on his own political career. <laughs> When I ran for a second term as Taipei mayor, supporters of Wang Jianxuan voted tactically for Ma Ying-jeou, so I lost. Everyone is making calculations like that, being tactical. In such circumstances, don't you think the TPP and KMT will become allies? No, I don't. But it's not the parties that vote tactically. It's the voters who decide to vote tactically. They see who looks the strongest and go for them. Now on medical parole, President Chen is still keeping a close eye on Taiwan's political developments. But will his predictions for 2022 hold true? There is only one way to find out.